हेलो एवरीवन दिस इज कैम्ब्रिज प्राइमरी चेक पॉइंट मैथमेटिक्स पेपर टू ऑफ ईयर अप्रैल 2020 एंड द कोड इज जीरो एट फोर फाइव जीरो टू एंड टाइम इज फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स टू कंप्लीट दिस पेपर एंड यू कैन सी द इंस्ट्रक्शंस यू नीड योर प्रोट्रैक्टर एंड ट्रेसिंग पेपर व्हिच इज ऑप्शनल and let's just go through other instructions these are the instructions you can just have screenshot of this and then you can go through that uh, the main thing that you can see here is you can use calculator in this paper and the total marks of this paper is 40 the number of marks for each question or part is shown in the bracket with each question so let's start question number 1 mike has his birthday in june the date is multiple of 4 the date is also multiple of 10 what is the date of mike's birthday so let's see we are given that the date is multiple of 4 and date is multiple of 10 also so let's just write multiples of 4 first and they are 4 4 times 2 8 4 times 3 12 like this 16 20 24 28 and so on so then date is also multiple of 10 now let's write multiples of 10 10 20 30 40 like this so now what is the date of mike's birthday so we can see we can choose a number that is in both multiples of 4 and multiples of 10 as you can see here uh, we have 10 then we have 20 here 20 is in multiples of 10 also and in multiples of 4 also so answer will be 20 question number 2 Here are four digit cards 0 1 2 and 5 use each digit to write a fraction and a decimal equivalent to 5 over 10 so we are given blank spaces here 5 over 10 and we have to choose number from here so uh, which also gives the same answer so if you write this 5 over 10 as simplest form so let's see what will be here so divide this by 5 and this also by 5 so your answer is your answer will be 1 over 2 when you simplify this 5 over 10 this is 1 over 2 so that means 5 over 10 has the same same answer as 1 over 2 now to write down in these two boxes so 1 divided by 2 or we can just take from here 5 over 10 that means 5 and then to uh, write down the decimal place we have here 10 so one digit 0.5 or because this is a calculator paper you can see it's very easy you can do it on the calculator uh, that is 5 divided by 10 this is 0.5 and both the digits are here in these four cards question number 3 use the digit 4 and 5 only to complete this calculation you may use the digits more than once so we can see we have three digit number here three digit number here and sum of both uh, number should be 1000 so we can only use 4 and 5 so let's say if we are taking here 4 let's say i'm taking 4 4 and 5 then plus as i know like we know that answer should be here 1000 so answer should be 1000 so that means so there should be 5 and 5 again to make it 10 5 plus 5 is 10 so you have one here 4 4 is already there 4 plus 1 is 
so 5 plus 5 will make 10 here and then we have again 1 carry here 4 plus 1 5 and 5 plus 5 is 10 so we can see you have here you can write down 4 4 5 and then 555 so we have used only 4 and 5 so there may be other combinations also like if we are taking 4 55 then it may be like here it can be 5 5 plus 5 is 10 5 plus 1 6 so 6 plus 4 is 10 again 1 here so 4 plus 1 5 plus 5 so there may be another combination of these two numbers to make the total is 10 question 4 here is a part of a shape drawn on the grid of squares so we are shown the grid of squares here uh, the question is draw two more lines two more lines to make the shape a square you should always underline the keywords so that it's easy when you uh, do the question so now uh, as you know that the square is a shape having all sides same so all sides should be same in the square so uh, let's check we are given these two sides as you can see uh, it is going from the center of the square so let's count how many are they you can see from here let me do with the pencil so it's one two three and four going through the uh, center of the square so that means here also you can see one it was one two three and four so one two three you should go this way one two three and four so this is the point where our line will go through all these squares you can we can check this side also one two three and four so that means this line is same so if we join these two lines so this will give you shape of a square like this so that's it for this question question 5 the four symbols you can see we are given these four different symbols here represent different numbers Oliver uses a carol diagram to sort the numbers so we are given this table first here the yeah, sorry the carol diagram in form of table uh, so you can see we have here two digits number not a two digit number multiples of three this side not multiple of three uh, in the second column so complete this one diagram using the four symbols so you need to use symbols to complete this diagram so let's start with this one by one now you can see here it is a circle circle is multiple of three and it's a two digit number also so multiple of three is here and two digit number it's this the central part so we will place this circle in the center which will come in both two digit number and multiples of three so this is here so next multiple of three but not a two digit that is square not a two digit number so that means we will we cannot put this in this uh, circle because this is two digit number so it should be outside this but it is multiple of three so we will place it here in this in this uh, circle here then the other one the next one two digits number this is two digit number triangle and not multiple of three so we can write down in this is the two digit circle here but not multiple of three so it will go outside this and then lastly we have this it's not two digit number not multiple of three so it is it cannot be in any of these circles so it should go outside here 
so this is how you can complete with the diagram step by step question number six Jamila is counting forward in tens from 5715 and Mia is counting backwards in ones from 7500. This counting is backward and this is forward. This is in tens and this is in ones. Uh, so tick the number they will both say. So let's see uh, one by one. If you observe the numbers you can see uh, this is 6005, 6500, 7055 and 7905. So we have four choices here. Now if you look at these numbers, so it should be because this is backward counting. So number cannot exceed 7500. So we have one option 7905. So this cannot be the answer. So now we have these three options remaining. So let's see how we can work it out. Now, if you count in tens forward from here, so it will be 5725, then 5735, 5745 and so on. So, if you observe the numbers, all the numbers are ending with 5. So, let's see here, uh, when you count backward from here in ones, so it will be 7,498, 7,498, then 97, 7,496, 7,495. So if you see all these numbers, so we need to see the number that can come in both of them now if you look here so these numbers are ending with 9 8 7 6 so that means only common number can be the ones which end with 5 so it makes our work easier so now we need to look for the number which ends with 5 here so that means those numbers will be in both of these conditions like tens from here and ones from here so we have 6005 here and then 7055 so this will be the final answer of this question question 7 Rajiv puts a number into this machine so you can see you are shown this machine here in and this is out and we have some conditions here multiply by 5 divide by 2 and out so whatever number goes in here that will be multiplied by 5 then divided by 2 then you will get the final answer so the question is the result is 50 what number did Rajiv put into the machine so it's a reverse process now because we are given the result so out number that comes out is 50 so that means we are going reverse from 50 here first you have we have here divide by 2 so that means we will do here times 2 so let me write down here 50 times 2 that is 100 then after from here the second step is this side so it is multiplied by 5 so we are going to do here divide by 5 to the answer so we got 100 here so 100 divided by 5 let me show you you can do this with calculator 100 divided by 5 which is 20 so our final answer is 20 question 8 complete the time on digital clocks one has been done for you so the first time is given to us this is 10 10 so as you know like there are these sections and every section uh, represents 5 minutes 1 2 3 4 and 5 uh, so this is 10 and 10 10 now this is this uh, the small hand is above 9 so that means it is 9 and this is on uh, 6 so which is half of that uh, half of 60 so that is 9 30 
and this one is like you can see it is near to 2 but it is not exactly 2 so that means it we will count from 1 so from 1 you will have here from 5 10 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 and 50 so this is how you can count it uh, so it is 1 50 question 9 here is a number line you can see this number line we have numbers from here 0 and 10,000 estimate the number shown by arrow so we have to estimate what number is this now first let's see uh, this line from here uh, this line to the second one this is approximately 10 so that means the middle is somewhere here uh, which is which will be this is 5 uh, 10,000 so this middle number will be 5,000 so that means these sections should be uh, in thousands so let's say like this is 1 2 3 4 5 6 maybe 7 here 8 9 like this so you can see this is 6 thousand seven thousand eight thousand so eight thousand something so let's say it is eight thousand and maybe two hundred or three hundred eight thousand and three hundred we have to write down uh, the estimated value here question number 10 here are some digit cards we are given digit cards here arrange the digit cards to make largest possible even number so now you know that uh, to write down the largest number so let me first write down largest number using these digit cards so we will start with the largest number which is 4 3 3 2 1 and 1 so this is the largest number but the question is largest even number so to make this even we can just uh, change one number largest even number that will be uh, 4 3 3 then we can bring 2 here we can just swap there 1 1 2 so this is the largest possible even number so we can put this number here in the answer question 11 what does 3 represents in this number so 3 is here as you know this is after decimal now it will be in tenths hundreds like that uh, so draw a ring around the correct answer so 3 hundreds no 3 hundreds so this is 3 tenth, tenths and this is 3 tenths so this is tenths place so it will be 3 tenths Question number 12. Calculate the size of angle A. So we need to find out this angle. As you know that sum of angles of a triangle is always 180 degrees. So we will add these two. 72 plus 42 which is... 114 so then subtract this from 180 180 minus 114 180 minus 114 so it is 66 so final answer is 66 degrees is already written there so next part of this paper you will see in the next video so i hope you understood these questions if there is any question you let me know and you can find the pdf file of this file of this paper in the description thanks for watching please share with your friends and subscribe the channel